Hey friends, I have purchased a new camera setup for my vlogging stuff and I just wanted to share it with you. I'm currently shooting on a D70 and I decided to switch to the M50, um, the Canon M50 and I just wanted to show you the setup that I decided to go with. Um, I did some research, I watched a bunch of other videos and uh, I came up with what I think is a pretty good a pretty good setup. The camera body, here it is, the M50. I haven't opened anything yet, so I'm just gonna open it up right now. Manual. Camera body. Battery. Charger. Strap. That looks like everything in the box. So here is the body. Looks pretty small compared to the D70, um, but that's what I like. It's small, light. Um, screen's a little smaller, but uh, it does have the touch screen, um, which I like. I can flip it around and and see myself in the screen. Um, so there's the camera. Next thing I got is a, I went with the Sigma 24 millimeter uh, 1.4 lens. Uh, it comes in this nice, actually, it comes in a nice little package here. A lot of lenses don't have those. They come kind of just in a box and that's nice. I like that little case. Um, so here's the lens has good reviews. I watched a bunch of reviews, compared it to the Canon L series lens and it was really close. Um, the only thing was different was that was different was just the speed of the focus speed on it was a little like tiny bit slower than the Canon and that's not enough to justify double the price to me so I went with the Sigma. Okay the next piece that I needed was in order to go with this this camera is I needed to get a lens mount adapter. This is, goes from EF to EOS M. This lens adapter allows me to use uh, the better lenses, the, the Sigma lens, etc., on this camera. So here it is. Here's the mount. Here's the camera. That's it, it's got a little, has another little uh, tripod. I honestly don't know what that's called, but it has another tripod adapter screw hole. So, um, by the way, this is a mirrorless camera, so everyone watching this probably already knows that. Um, this lens, this lens here, so the lens when it's on the camera definitely makes it a bit heftier. It gives it some, what, some weight to it. Um, so it kind of is, so it's kind of a, there's a little bit of a trade off there lens for this tiny camera with this big lens. But when I'm holding the camera to vlog, a lot of times I'm holding it by the lens so it it kind of acts as a, it's like a counterbalance thing. It feels pretty good in your hand. Um, I also watched a couple videos of some guys uh, using this setup to vlog with and with the super fast autofocus that this camera has. Um, it works good. You know, you don't have to mess around with the focus. You know, pretty much everything's going to be in focus. Um, and this, this mount adapter, actually I tried it in the store. It's it doesn't, you don't lose that much um, speed with autofocus as you, as you think you would. Um, so it's, um, so anyways, yeah, that's that so far. So I decided to go with the little compact uh, Rode video mic. This little guy here.
comes in a little thing here. A little video start manual. Here's the microphone. And, and this is the windscreen. There's the little microphone. Now this microphone uh, obviously is pretty small so it doesn't have a battery in it. It runs off the camera power. Um, I don't know if that's going to be an issue with with sound. It's probably not as good as the one that I'm using right now on, on the D70 that has a battery in it. Um, but because it's so small and lightweight, I think it'll... Uh, I kind of like the fact that it's not it's, it's not as obtrusive as using the using the bigger long I mean the one I have on the D70 is you know like 10 inches long so here's the side with the there's the little area for the mic that just kind of pops out like so the good thing about this mic that I was, you know, I was looking at another mic, but the reason why I went with this mic is because it does have a 90 degree, uh, uh, 90 degree pin or 90 degree eighth inch jack pin or whatever coming out. So when the screen's open, um, it's not going right across, you know, it's not going right across the screen and blocking it from being able to look at the screen. So a lot of people complain that the, with this cable, you can't rotate the screen around. It, it hits the cable, but I mean, honestly, you just go the other direction. When you pull it out, you just rotate it as you pull it out, it's fine. So, um, you know, I think this is, uh, I think this is gonna be the good setup here. Um, I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to shoot some stuff with it and I'll leave you the feedback uh, a little bit later. So uh, tune in and watch.